So, right, this, this presentation is about the construction and the simulation of a reservoir in, in geological models. So we saw a lot of interesting data types this morning and the acquisition of data types, and I wanted to kind of roll it all together and give you an image of the reservoir to kind of give you a mental image. Um, when I saw the presentation topic, reservoir modeling and reservoir simulation, I was a little bit concerned. And I was concerned when you combine modeling and simulation together, you're mixing two different domain sciences. The modeling is usually the geoscience domain. The simulation is reservoir, usually the reservoir engineering community. And they don't necessarily always see eye to eye. If you listen to Scott early this morning, he made a crack about being at a, a reservoir simulation conference, and he was the only geologist there. And then Rusty made a comment about, oh yeah, I, I had only six slides until the reservoir engineers got together. And this is very true. Sometimes we don't necessarily work together. In fact, in fact, it's so prevalent, I really thought that we should change the title of this talk from reservoir modeling simulation to left brain thinkers and right brain thinkers. Because we, we truly do look at the problem differently. So if you looked at the difference between left brain and right brain thinkers, you will discover that the modeler is typically a right brained person. Um, he may be good at painting or music or writing. He's a, very, he's a very visual person. Again, if you listen to Scott this morning, he, Scott is a geologist, and he made a very clear pictures of what the, what the reservoir actually looks like. While on the other hand, the reservoir engineer is very logic driven, very decisive. He's typically the, the mathematician. And the trick in our industry is to see if we can pull these two, pull these two people together and, and see if they can work together. And that's, and that's really our challenge. So to look at it from a, a different perspective, what are we thinking about as geologists? Well, we draw our inspiration for things like outcrops and field trips. Okay. We'd rather be out in the field. We'd rather be out. see this or not. Looking at these sandbars, for example, these point bars. You know, if you ran into a geologist in the building and you looked at his uh, uh, bookshelf, it probably has uh, no books on it, but it's probably got a whole lot of rocks on it. <laughs> now, on the other hand, the reservoir engineer looks at the world differently. He doesn't consider this a point bar. All he wants to know is, can I flow fluid through this thing? He's interested in flow equations. If you look at his bookshelf, he would probably have a copy of uh, numerical recipes or something, and all four editions of it. So we look at the world very, very differently, and we're trying to pull them together. And that's what this presentation is about. How do we, how do we, pull, this, how do we pull these two worlds together into a, a reservoir model? OK, so we've talked about the subsurface, but I want to just kind of back up a little bit, make sure we're all sitting on the same page and say, OK, exactly, where are we in the world? The reservoir modeling is down in here. 